Okay. So I have my academic and professional reasons uh, for it, but I also have uh, my, my personal reasons. And one of the things is that um, two years ago when I was looking around for schools to place my child in, um, I found myself gravitating more towards um, schools that have a better physical environment, not necessarily the best academic environment. And because knowing what I know that really the physical environment impacts student learning, um, I was hoping that I can get both, a good school and a good physical environment. And um, that kind of triggered to me the notion that we really need to do something about these schools. There is around 20 billion square foot of existing schools in this country that um, is in really very bad shape, uh, in shape that's worse than prisons. Um, and this is the schools or the environment where our kids are learning every day. So it triggered the whole notion of how can we develop design guidelines that are very, very easy uh, for school modernization, for school greening, to make them more green, more energy efficient. So if we can green these schools and be able to meet some of the challenges of the architecture 2030, um, we can have a number of things, you know, um, at the same time, have a better school environment for, for kids, for the learning that we know from data that it impacts their health, academic performance, and, and many other things. We can also have better environment, you know, in general for our planet, and, um, and also better working environment for the teachers. So it can um, end the school districts by saving them energy and saving them on the running cost. So it will have a triple bottom line approach of the people planet and productivity or profit.